So, our lifeboat is dropped from a plane moving at 80 kilometers per hour. It lands in the water eight seconds later. You need to convert it to meters per second. All right, so once you divide um, 80,000 meters by 1660, you get 22.2. That's A, B, and C, zero, okay, from the worksheet. Range, we're using UX, which is already given to you from that answer. 22.22 times eight seconds, which is given to you there. All right, times those two numbers together and you get 177.8. E is VX, which is the same as UX, is 22.22 meters per second. F, we're going to work out, is VY equals zero plus 9.8 times eight seconds, given to you in the question, and that is 78.4 meters. Yay. Okay, now we've got a triangle scenario, it's fine. We've got a triangle scenario, so E, F, G. So, we have 78.4 over here, and we've got 22.22 over here. We want to find V, yeah? V, Y, V, Y, V, Minutes per second, thanks, Tim. Alright, so let's do that. V, X squared plus V, Y squared will give you... V. Yep, so let's have a look. Square root of 78.4 squared plus 22.22 squared. You're going to get 81.5. Is that what you roughly got? Yep. So V equals 81.5 meters per second. Okay, so that's G. Alright, time taken to fall. I'm going to rub off this left side because um, we're going to need to use that to do the rest. So we've got H, time taken to 4 is already given to you, and that's 8 seconds, right? So that's H is 8 seconds. I might use a different colour now. H, I. I is asking us. The height from which it's thrown from? Yeah, so let's do this. So delta y equals uyt plus half ayt squared. Zero plus half times 9.8 times how long it's been flying for. And we got one, three, 313 meters um, for its um, height. Okay? Alright, so that's for I. Um, J, velocity after uh, three seconds after dropping. Alright, so J. Um, how can we do this? So let's look at that same equation. So V equals UY plus AYT. V equals 0 plus 9.8 times 3. And what's the answer? 29.4 meters is VY. VY. Now we need to work out um, we need to work out its velocity at that point. So We use this formula here to work that out. So Vx squared plus Vy squared. Vx is 22.22 from earlier parts. 29.4 is just what we worked out. V equals 336.8686 meters. You happy with that? Okay. Now to work that over angle, we do shift 10, A, B, C, and did you get, fifty two point nine degrees, to work out the angle, let's rub this out, 
don't know if I'm going to get through to question 10 today. Let's see. So to work out that angle, you do shift hand that. 22, is it 29, sorry, on the top line? 9.422.22, and that will give you 52.9 degrees. Alright, so that is J. Let's do K, so let's work out its height after 5 seconds of dropping. Alright, K. So we're going to need to use this here, delta y equals uyt plus half ayt squared. Delta y equals zero plus half times 9.8 times, is it five seconds? Yep. Which should be 122.5 meters. Right, then you minus that off what you got given earlier, and our height was 313.6 minus 122.5 meters would give us 191.1. 191.1 meters is delta y for that question there. All right, it's pretty straightforward once you. Um, once you convert it into the uh, meters per second.